Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. In this particular video, we are going to learn about malware analysis using Fiddler. This is our objective, okay, for this particular video. So let's get started. So see, generally uh, there are two types of analysis, okay, when we talk about malware analysis. So one is basically you might be knowing about that is called static analysis, and second we call as a dynamic analysis, right? So what is static analysis? So static analysis basically uh, we just try to check the so the particular malware uh, source code. Uh, basically we can say string command, okay, some kind of okay like hexdump command. We are basically using it PE Studio or many kind of other framework, whatever available there. Okay, we are just checking statically. It means we are not executing the malware, right? In the second case, we have an option called dynamic analysis. In the case of dynamic analysis, uh, we are basically executing a real malware and I have a video already available okay, in the same channel. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and you can check that particular video called ransomware analysis okay, using Ghidra. So Ghidra is one of the great framework okay, where okay, you can you know, uh, perform a reverse engineering. And that video basically you can check on the above I button and you can please check it out after this particular session. So I'm talking about dynamic analysis. So when you talk about dynamic analysis, we are executing the malware and we are checking like like what exactly is happening, the interaction point, the network interaction point. And also like I want to share okay like one problem okay which I am facing. I'm not sure okay you are facing the same problem or not. So that okay like you can check it out okay like by uh, finishing this particular video with me. So what is happening okay like uh, I'm uh, using Apple uh, M1 devices and I'm also using Apple M2 is basically my laptop. So my desktop is Apple M1, my laptop is Apple M2. So what is happening is like the first of all virtual machines. I can't use okay Intel based architecture machines. So for this I'm using parallel desktop and I have installed a Windows 10 inside that parallel desktop. And when I try to install Wireshark, somehow okay like I'm getting error. I am able to install the Wireshark, but the problem is I have not able to you know listen the traffic okay like with the help of Wireshark. So there is no interfaces coming there. So let's get started. I'll show you first this problem and then uh, I figure out how to resolve this issue. So we are using Fiddler for our analysis purpose. So that is very interesting video. Let's get started. So simple, we can go to the, our parallel desktop. This you might be knowing about it. I have recorded a lot of videos. So in the end section, uh, you can easily check my video called pen testing using Apple M1, right? So this is you know very uh, famous video you can check on YouTube uh, pen test with Apple M1 you'll get an idea what are the tools required for penetration testing what tool okay you can use it okay for exploitation and many many things okay you can easily see that okay in this particular section so stay tuned with me okay like this is official hacker associate channel and uh, we are going to release okay like a new new uh, video on a different different topics okay shortly uh, like every week I'm trying to upload okay the video on this particular channel you stay tuned with me for a next generation technology so this is the kali machine and i also require okay like windows machine uh, like okay need to be up so now you can see this is windows machine and now it is it is running successfully right uh, so here you can see this is basically my uh, wonderful machine okay like i'm using for malware analysis i'm using for cloud penetration testing i'm using for SCADA stuff and many many other right so this is my favorite machine windows uh, basically windows 11 i'm using here inside and now if I, you can check okay like if i use wireshark so let's search okay wireshark here so it just started it will take a time okay you know to just start all the services so you can see this is uh, showing Wireshark Mac so let me just go and check out if Wireshark is available okay for this machine or not so this is the Wireshark by the way and when I try to run this Wireshark you can see clearly what is happening when I try to run this administrator privilege uh, here run click here yes click here next 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 and see here okay we require desktop icon then go next 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 uh, you can see clearly when I try to install this also you can see that what is happening so it is showing okay like complete process by the way I'm not getting any error okay like during installation but when I try to sniff the particular traffic on specific interfaces it is giving me the error so it means if you are executing malware how we are going to check the network interaction point that is basically my question so in this particular case okay like you know if basically if this is the case if you're not able to use Wireshark or maybe if you if you don't know like how to use Wireshark in a proper manner then I'm going to give you a you know, very easy uh, framework that you can install it that you can 
basically play with the particular thing and you can easily identify a network interaction when you execute any malware okay in your system so simple agree and we can simple uh, install all this window compatible and you can see that clearly it is working and might be i'm getting error i'm not sure let's try it in front of you so it is working and uh, by time okay like we'll work on the fiddler area so you can see this is the fiddler okay you can see fiddler is is running here this is my uh, fiddler uh, i am using fiddler classic by the way so fiddler is available for uh, linux for mac and for windows and fiddler uh, everywhere is a paid service so if you want you can use fiddler classic is completely free so accept it and next accept it and next and accept it next install and you can see installation failed that is okay click here okay now you can see installing wireshark and shortly you'll see the wireshark icon on my desktop also like uh, see this is the wireshark so before executing malware okay what you can do is you don't forget to take a snapshot of the machine okay that you don't forget so simple go to the next area and you can see reboot now i'll reboot later stage and finish it off so when i open the wireshark let's see are we able to see any interfaces or not so when I click here okay on Wireshark and you can clearly see that here I'm not able to see any interfaces okay that is the problem even if I install update also like I'm not able to see any kind of interfaces available on the other hand if I open a Wireshark here this is basically uh, Wireshark is in my Mac system so you will see okay like all the interface up and running in this particular area you can see this is Wireshark and you can clearly see that okay like I'm able to see all interfaces up and running okay this is how it is so let me just inst install these packages it is a recommending option let's go here install enter the password install the software close it and you can restart the browser restart basically the wireshark so here okay if you can see this uh, these are the interfaces which i can see clearly close it now uh, when you simple click here install updates so the update installing you can see that click here yes again next 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 same process <coughs> so by time okay it is working let's minimize it we'll work on the fiddler area so fiddler okay you can start okay with this this is basically uh, fiddler fiddler classic you can see for run as administrator click here yes right just when you uh, see this kind of pop-up you can simply click here yes once again so this is the fiddler okay you will automatically see one kind of endpoint okay automatically starting that is completely fine and here you can see a lot of traffic is coming there right here it is so i uh, don't want all this traffic so what i can do is i can simply click on this cross button remove all and now here you can see it everything is closed here right now what i can do is i'm uh, basically going to use one malware i'm going to run the malware in the front of you okay and we'll see are we able to get any network interaction point or not that is very very important okay in dynamic analysis okay so let's get it started again for the same so i'll minimize once again this part and let's go to the malware area uh, this is the pc we can see here uh, this is c drive and here okay this is malware and reverse engineering i'll go this is the real malware and uh, i can see this is the malware okay i'm having and this is you can see the unknown malware right so i'll simply delete that file example let's say this one uh, this is the rar file and you can easily uh, download malware from internet or from any other application so when i extract it this one extract all extract and you can see this is real malware by the way okay so you can see that clearly right so when i double click on the malware okay like i want to understand the interaction here you can see the lot of traffic is coming i don't want all this simple remove all and now you can see uh, we only have one traffic now when i execute that malware okay you can see but before this you can go to the parallel desktop as i mentioned here uh, this option called snapshot so once it is done i will basically revert to my original snapshot because this is the malware it can affect okay your system okay so it's very very important take a snapshot and then okay you practice it when it is done again revert back to the snapshot okay so please take care of this 
okay now uh, see again uh, we can see there's nothing is here again click cross here remove all and i want to see what exactly the interaction here so when i double click on this you can see the malware is executing opening a cmd and you can see is mode and now you can see clearly uh, this malware okay interaction a uh, domain interaction is this one see that so this is the live okay like we able to identify from uh, you can see when i execute the malware okay you can see this is malware unknown process is 9348 and uh, here you can see clearly this is uh, the domain okay where is communicating and you can see this is your okay like you can see maybe try to download something okay from this particular uh, domain right this is domain and you can see slash it means it's try to download something here and this is a body this is the caching and this is the content type html and only uh, one domain i can see that there will be a possibility a lot of thing is going in the background so for this we need to perform a reverse engineering okay so don't forget okay you know uh, uh, this one ransomware video please watch it okay after this particular session you'll get an idea you'll get an clarity how uh, basically we can use gidra for reverse engineering and how we can basically look for network interaction using fitler that's all for today i hope you enjoy the video and if you like the video and if you like our content please don't forget to subscribe that will motivate us okay to create a video like that thank you have a great day see you. take care have a great day